Hello, Sarah. It's Thursday, September 25th, and I'm coming to you from my floor because my room is atrociously messy at this point uh, because I need to clean it next week while I'm on break. Um, it's really bad. I pulled all my stuff out of my drawers and things so that I could reorganize it last break, and uh, it has yet to all go back in the drawers because I haven't had time to reorganize things, so that's this next week. That's what I'm doing. Um, I had my last drawing class this week for this quarter, which is super sad, um, but it made me think I forgot to ask you how your drawing class was going, because you said you were taking your drawing class, and I was super excited for you, but then I had to cut that out of my video because um, it was super long. But how's your drawing class going? And what kind of drawing classes are you drawing? People or are you drawing animals? I want to know all these things about your drawing class. Um, also, I have been playing Ultimate Frisbee lately, which is fun and I like it. Um, we just have like a group that goes and plays glow in the dark frisbee on Saturday nights and so we have like a frisbee that has a, like a light on it and it's all glowy and stuff and we have glow in the dark cones and then everyone wears a glow in the dark bracelet based on their team color and it's super fun. Um, but in playing glow in the dark frisbee I've learned that I bruise easily. Like apparently really easily. <laughs> like you look at me too long and I bruise easily. Um, because uh, we played two Saturdays ago and I had this bruise like right here across my arm like straight line because the frisbee hit me because I had an awesome block it was a good block um, and so that's been almost two weeks now and it's finally gone away but this last week I got like super bruised like you they finally gone away but I had a bruise right here on this knuckle and right here on my thumb and uh, someone else that was playing was like, how do you bruise so quickly? Because they were bruised before we left, like before we were done playing that night. Um, I also have this bruise over here, which you probably can't see on this camera because it's really crappy lighting in here, but it's like this big bruise. It's literally like this big. Um, and it's the same part of my arm as the other bruise that I had because I had another block, which was awesome, but painful. So this last week I had, you know, bruise here that was healing, bruise on two of my fingers, bruise on this arm, and my shin, I got hit with the frisbee like a couple inches above my ankle, um, and it didn't bruise right away. And I was like, how did that not bruise? Like it hurts, like that's the one that hurts the most. But it had like a welt almost, like it was raised, and there was a bump there, like cartoon bump. Um, and then I was like, all right, well that hurts. And then it started slowly to bruise, and now it has this bruise on it that's purple and super gross. And it's like, okay, so it took like four days to bruise, but it's officially bruised. How many times am I going to say bruise in this video? Regardless, though, um, I keep playing Ultimate Frisbee anyway, and then I have people tell me, they're like, why do you play Ultimate Frisbee? Like, you're clearly too accident prone. I'm like, that's painful. You guys play hardcore. And it's like, we don't play hardcore. I just am really good at getting bruises which is unfortunate. Anyway, that's really all I have going on. I finished training at work this week, which is exciting and also terrifying, uh, but it's good so far. I really like the people that I work with, so it's fun. Uh, tell me about your drawing class and keep being authentically awesome.